Hello, uh, my name is Mark O'Connell. I'm a writer and journalist from Dublin, and I recently published a long article in The Guardian about the way in which New Zealand has become a kind of focus point of apocalyptic anxieties in recent years, uh, particularly among extremely wealthy tech entrepreneurs in Silicon Valley. I travelled to New Zealand for the piece, funded by a very generous travel grant from the Pulitzer Centre, and spent time with artists, uh, political activists, uh, real estate agents and academics in order to get a sense of why it is that New Zealand in particular has come to be seen as this kind of bolt hole in the event of civilizational collapse due to uh, climate catastrophe or economic meltdown or any of the other uh, apocalyptic scenarios that might be uh, in the air. My article looks in particular at Peter Thiel, the billionaire venture capitalist who co-founded PayPal and who was an early investor in Facebook. I write about Thiel's purchase of a gigantic uh, sheep station in New Zealand's South Island, apparently bought as a safe space to retreat to in the event of uh, such an apocalyptic scenario. And I also look pretty closely at a, a fairly obscure 1997 book called The Sovereign Individual, which is a kind of extreme libertarian manifesto that predicts the widespread collapse of democratic nation states and the rise of corporate city states uh, hastened by the advent of cryptocurrencies like uh, Bitcoin. It's a book whose influence Thiel has spoken openly about, uh, along with quite a few other prominent Silicon Valley figures. Um, and so my article traces the connections between these extreme libertarian ideas and the recent focus on New Zealand as a kind of utopian space that wealthy tech elites might uh, retreat to in the event of this kind of apocalyptic scenario.